Hello everyone, uh, my name is Ahmed Al Khadir, and today I will present our paper MC Bora, which stands for Multi Chain Proof of Private Authentication for Post Blockchain Best Security in Large Scale Complex Cyber Physical Systems. My email is provided in this slide for any questions. And today, in this presentation, I will cover the following points. Introduction. First, I will introduce the CBS and IoT concepts. And then I will talk about the blockchain and the post blockchain technology. Then I will talk about the proposed MC Bora, the contributions of the MC Bora. And then I will go in more details about uh, uh, the proposed protocol. Then I'm going to show the result and compare our result with previous related work. First, to understand the CBS or what does CBS means, first let us understand what is IoT. IoT is the interconnection between multiple heterogeneous systems or things, and these things should be enabled to be connected to the internet, and the things could be smart healthcare things, smart transportation things, smart grids, smart infrastructure or administrations. Uh, all these things are connected to each other. And uh, to reach to the idea of CBS, uh, we, we add or integrate more control over the physical infrastructure and also the changes over the physical infrastructure. So CBS means the interconnection between uh, multiple heterogeneous systems or devices uh, uh, that able to share, exchange, and control and make changes over the physical infrastructure based on the decision and analysis uh, from uh, the same system. However, the network is not limited to a certain number of devices. The number of participants could increase and increase and reach a billion of things. Uh, keeping the systems automation interaction analysis and storage, even security in a robust form, will be a huge challenge through a central authority. And will create challenges such as latency, power consumption, security, scalability, and accuracy. For these challenges, several ideas have been proposed, have been proposed uh, to resolve the challenges, such as parallel operations, decentralization, better security for computing, and finally the blockchain technology. And uh, all of them are fulfilled in the blockchain technology, but today we will focus on the blockchain technology since it's a major part of our uh, paper today and our presentation today. Blockchain technology. In 2009, uh, Bitcoin, the first and the most popular cryptocurrency in the market, has been launched. This cryptocurrency uses the blockchain technology to perform its transaction and operation. Now, uh, let's go deeper. What is the blockchain technology? Blockchain technology is a distributed database that uses a linked list graph for a group of digital assets, and each group is represented as a block. The linked list of transactions are organized in a public ledger published by regular users and validated by miners. The order of the new transaction joining the ledger should be preserved. A block should be placed in the public under two conditions, honest publisher and consistent order. In addition to the longest chain, uh, if there is a fork in the chain. Because of the characteristics uh, we mentioned in the previous slide, about the blockchain technology, the technology has been proposed as a solution for the CBS IoT challenges. However, the blockchain technology has its own limitation, such as high energy consumption, lack of scalability, high latency, lack of privacy, 
fake block generation limited one chain storage capability some facts about the blockchain technology in the case of bitcoin mining one bitcoin equal two years consumption of u.s household energy consumption for each bitcoin transaction is 80,000 uh, more than the energy consumption of a credit card processing now uh, we will move forward from the blockchain technology to post blockchain technologies we will briefly uh, present two technologies such as hash graph and tangle in addition to the current paper the mc borer as one uh, of the technologies uh, under the post blockchain technologies first of which uh, hash graph technology this technology has been proposed in 2006 as a new uh, technology uh, the consensus uh, the technology built on the well-known mathematical concept directed a sacred graph and uses the original BFT as a consensus algorithm for its virtual voting system and gossip about gossip protocol. Hedera is the first cryptocurrency that uses the hash graph technology as its technical background. The validation average for Hedera is 10,000 uh, transactions per second. Uh, however, this technology is not suitable for limited resource devices suffers from redundancy and huge local operations moving to the second example tangle technology is a recent technology introduced to reduce the high cost of operations of the traditional blockchain it uses uh, a better scalable structure directed a cyclic graph as well and deals with independent uh, transaction that reference two previous transaction by performing the proof of work but uh, the difference here between this technology and the blockchain technology this technology has no miners which means the transaction are the ones that performs the proof of work the hash cash algorithm uh, there is uh, multiple uh, <coughs> algorithm uh, involved in this process such as the selection algorithm uh, for transaction location and coordination nodes to ensure the direction of the ledger. However, the entire process requires high resource to be performed in IoT and CBS and device because of the consensus algorithm used. In addition to the waste of energy due to the high operation of the hash cash algorithm, and here in Tangle technology, it happens for each transaction, which means we are performing the hash cache, the intensive hash cache algorithm for only one transaction at a time. Here in this slide, I'm trying to show uh, the differences between the blockchain technology and the Tangle technology and the proposed MC uh, Bora technology. Uh, first of all, uh, the blockchain technology, as we see, is a linked list, one chain. In Tangle technology, it's a group of transactions linked to each other. In MC Bora, here we have a group of blockchains or multiple blockchains connected to each other through the directed acyclic graph. Here in this table, uh, uh, there is more differences between uh, the current paper, the current proposed paper, hash graph and tangle technology, and even the blockchain technology. Let's see some uh, of the important, I'll go, I'll go over uh, some of the important uh, features here. Like the linked list, in tangle we have uh, one transaction linked to other transaction. In MC Bora we have a block of transactions uh, linked to uh, previous blocks of transaction and then in uh, a later stage the blocks will be a reduced blocks the validation here in Tangle they are using mining similar to the idea of the blockchain but in MC Bora we are using authentication whereas Hashigraph using virtual voting uh, the ledger requirement in Tangle and MC Bora we are requiring portion but the difference here is and tangle uh, based on the longest and shortest path and mc bora we are using the number of authenticators 
for the decentralization, uh, Hashgraph, Tangle, and MC4 are all fully decentralized in blockchain technology. They are partially decentralized. The requirement for appending uh, a new block and uh, bit, Bitcoin, the case of Bitcoin in blockchain technology, they are using the longest chain. Tangle technology, they are using selection algorithm and hash graph, full randomness, randomly sent to another uh, user. The other user will send randomly to another user. And for MC Bora, we are using the filtration process. Uh, the energy requirements here uh, in hash graph, medium energy requirement in Tangle, high energy requirement in MC Bora. It's low energy requirement and the other important the design purpose here in blockchain it designed for cryptocurrency as we know the bitcoin the first cryptocurrency tangle it designed as an iot micropayment system as a cryptocurrency as well hashgraph it has been used uh, uh, recently uh, in hedera it's a cryptocurrency and mc bora it designed for IoT and CBS applications. Uh, now, in this slide, uh, I will talk about the MC Bora, uh, the current paper, and I will talk about what we are proposing today. And uh, basically, we are proposing two things a consensus algorithm, proof of property authentication, and the multi chain a linked list uh, for the data. We have here multiple, in the, in the figure as you see, we have here multiple traditional blockchain connected through the creating the multi-chain structure. So the multi-chain structure is uh, multiple blockchains connected through the DAG structure. Uh, the blocks here are strongly connected by referencing two previous blocks instead of one in the traditional structure. And we are using blocks here instead of transaction and Tangle technology. Uh, the, block here, the blocks here are consistent and will grow even with the existence of a malicious blocks. And the growth will uh, be uh, in a topological order. Uh, comparing this to the traditional blockchain, uh, we are avoiding the 51% attack because here, uh, we are eliminating the miners of uh, the, the role of miners. We are eliminating the processing power, uh, uh, despite the technologies, uh, the blockchain technology. There is miners, and the Tangle technology. There is a proof of work. That means the process, the processing power has uh, an authority over the network. In this slide, I will talk about the novel contributions of the current paper, MC Bora. Uh, first, the secure unique identification list, the SUIL. The SUIL, to the best of our knowledge, uh, this is the first protocol using a secure unique identification list distributed over all the nodes uh, for authentication purposes. Uh, this uh, list used to eliminate miners and eliminate the high processing power and calculations. Multi-chain, the second part we are proposing, multi-chain uh, structure uh, combining the traditional uh, linked list uh, combined with the DAG directed acyclic graph to create the multi-chain structure and speed up the authentication process. The authority distribution. In this protocol, there is no miners, or the nodes could broadcast and authenticate transaction, which indicate fairness in authority distribution. Uh, here is a, uh, just to mention this point, we brief, previously mentioned in the previous slide uh, about the 51% attack. Here we have no miners, uh, no nodes have more authority than the other nodes, so we are eliminating the 51% attack. The ledger minimization, minimization, the last point here, uh, we are using uh, to minimize the ledger uh, reduction process, which is over the public ledger and shortest path, longest path over the local ledger. Moving to the multi-chain technology framework, before starting to explain the parts of the whole technology and operations, 
Uh, I would like to explain this important slide that illustrates the framework of the technology and show the flexibility of identifying a certain blockchain for a specific purpose without interrupting the whole network. First, at the left of this slide, uh, we have the nodes registration process, uh, which is uh, part of our future work. Uh, this process through an independent ledger, uh, which represents the virtual existence of the actual nodes within the network for security and integrity purposes. And from this independent ledger, we extract the secure identification list uh, we mentioned earlier that stored in each node. A second, at the right side of this slide, multi-chain is represented in organized shapes for except for explanation purposes. As we see here uh, in the yellow blocks or the yellow linked list uh, at the right, uh, we have Genesis block and the first chain is the Genesis block chain and it represents the virtual existence uh, of the actual devices as a Genesis blockchain and the rest of the network or the blocks will grow over this chain and will be linked to each other, creating multiple blockchains uh, within the network. In this slide, uh, I'll talk about the components of the MC Bora. We have nodes. All the nodes are the same. As we see in this slide, although uh, each node have a unique identification and have a public and private keys, block filtration process, secure unique identification list, and dynamic blocks list. And also uh, another component, which is the dynamic blocks list. The dynamic blocks list is built over the multi-chain idea. Uh, each block is linked to previous two blocks. And the third part here, we have secure unique identification list. The secure identification list is a file that stores all the unique identification for all the nodes for authentication purposes. A very important slide here, uh, the block structure. Uh, here I'm trying to differentiate the uh, traditional blockchain block structure and the MC Bora block structure. First of all, the block header. The block header in the traditional blockchain uh, contains the previous block header, uh, nouns, and miracle tree. So the hash of the miracle tree is combined with the nouns to create uh, and combined with the previous block header to create the current block header. But in the case of the MC Bora, we have uh, two previous block headers. We have Merkle tree hash header, and we have the first authenticator UID header combined with each other for the current block header. Uh, the rest of the traditional uh, blockchain block content is similar in uh, MC Bora, but we have more, uh, more parameters such as the distance, the minimal distance, the confirmation number. Uh, we will uh, explain it in the coming slide. Uh, in this slide, uh, I will represent the features of the proposed post blockchain structure. First, let's begin uh, and define the stages in this, in this slide. The green stage is called the slide, uh, the sites stage. Each block in this stage is unauthenticated yet and called site. So each block in this stage is called site. The second stage is the orange stage that represent an authenticated blocks but haven't yet reached the level of reduction. In order to reach the level of reduction, the number of confirmation should be equivalent to the number of nodes within the network. Once a block reach this level will be reduced and will be uh, uh, will join the last stage, which is the reduced block stage, which is in the blue color. Uh, the reduced blocks are in their minimal version. And uh, the second important part here, the distance. As I mentioned in the block structure uh, slide, the distance is the distance from the Genesis block using the longest path. The minimal version, 
is the shortest distance from the Genesis block and these two features, the longest and the shortest uh, distance uh, feature could be used to minimize the ledger locally in each node. Finally here, uh, the gray blocks are orphan blocks because they are generated from a malicious node if and they are orphaned because they are the, the, the coming blocks um, aren't able to authenticate these blocks because they are uh, generated from a node uh, outside the network or from a node that has been tampered with uh, and uh, these two blocks has been orphaned because uh, they are generated from a malicious node if. I'm presenting the operations of the algorithm, the MC power algorithm. Uh, the first, uh, the first thing, uh, collecting values from actuators and then form and signing the block, then run the BF, uh, the BFP uh, process, which is the blocks filtration process, to find the location for the new block. And the filtration process is basically uh, checking the blocks, checking the confirmation of each blocks and uh, giving the priority for the blocks with the zero confirmation uh, and then if there is no blocks with zero confirmation we go and choose the blocks with uh, one confirmation if there is no blocks with one confirmation as well we go and uh, locate the blocks randomly and then authenticate the blocks if the blocks are authenticated we go we broadcast the new block add the new block to the location and then run the reduction process. If there is uh, blocks that reach the uh, the number of confirmations needed to be reduced, will reduce. If not, uh, the process will end at this point. Uh, going over the result, uh, there is a point. In our implementation, we use Python to create our B2B connection and build the protocol also we used uh, Postgres SQL as a database to store the blocks exchanged between the nodes. Uh, for the time analysis we have done here, we have three scenarios, each of which is run for an equal amount of time. The first scenario was five nodes, as shown here in this slide, and the average of the authentication in milliseconds is 19.23, and the average uh, for the reduction time is 621 millisecond. For the second scenario, uh, we have an average of 516 authentication time in millisecond and an average of 740 reduction time in millisecond. Scenario, which is 15 nodes, we have 3.97 authentication time in millisecond and uh, 772 reduction time in millisecond showing the authentication time compared to the number of uh, nodes. Uh, <clears throat> as we see here in the average, we see here the more we have nodes, the more uh, the authentication, uh, the, the faster the authentication time is. And we, we expected that because uh, the more nodes, that means the more blocks uh, in the network, so the authentication process will be faster, which is um, uh, it's a feature. The more blocks joining the network or the more nodes joining the network, the faster the network is. For this uh, slide, we are comparing the number of nodes with the reduction time. Uh, as you see here in the average, uh, the, the more the nodes we have, the more or the, uh, the higher the reduction time will be because we need uh, to reach the reduction level or the reduction stage, we need a confirmation of all the participants of the network. So that's mean the more we add nodes, the more we have, uh, the more will be the reduction time. Slide, uh, I'm comparing the MC Bora with the previous related work, uh, such as the proof of work, the proof of importance, authority, authentication, buff enabled authentication and block and trade uh, consensus algorithm. Uh, here we have in the proof of work, we have authentication time of 200, 
40,000 millisecond uh, and uh, authentication we have 3,000 millisecond and proof of in buff enabled authentication we have 192.3 millisecond and block and trade 80 to 210 and in uh, the current variable we have 3.9 to 90.23 and we are requiring a uh, portion of the ledger, uh, whereas the, the rest of the uh, briefest work requiring full ledger, we have no minors. The rest of the briefest work have, should have minors, and we are using private uh, multi chain instead of a private blockchain or public blockchain as, as uh, listed in the briefest related work. To conclude the whole presentation, uh, for this paper, uh, first I uh, talked about the IoT and CVS applications and uh, how uh, the challenges of these uh, two concepts and what are the solutions proposed for this uh, uh, concept and <clears throat> one of the solutions was the blockchain technology and what are the challenges of the blockchain technology and compare them with the post blockchain technology such as Tangle and Hedera Hatchcraft and then went over the uh, the design of the MC Bora and uh, uh, the proposed multi-chain technology then mentioned the contributions of the multi-chain technology now the last point of the conclusion here is the future work the future work is all related to the uh, idea of identifying certain uh, blockchain within the multi-chain for a certain purpose like showing the existence of the, the virtual existence of the nodes within the network uh, uh, to ensure the integrity and the security of the hardware devices. In this slide I'm showing some of the references used in this paper, uh, eight of them uh, showing uh, uh, some of them are related to the Hashgraph and uh, some of them are talking about the Internet of Things, the challenges of the Internet of Things and the blockchain technology. In this presentation, uh, the authors would like to acknowledge financial support from the Saudi Arabian Culture Mission. And that's the end of my presentation today. Uh, I would like to thank you all for your attention. And uh, I, I, will be, I would be happy to answer any question uh, right now or through email. Uh, thank you all for your listening.